When talking about Dubai, we often focus on the two most powerful figures in the country, the king and the crown prince. But Dubai, this rich men's wonderland, has much more to offer, especially when it comes to celebrity royals. One of them recently shook the world with a lavish yet secretive wedding. So, let's dive deep into Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum's favorite daughter's life. Sheikh Amara's journey has been nothing short of fascinating. Born in 1994, she grew up in the opulent surroundings of the royal family in Dubai. As the daughter of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the vice president and prime minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, she was raised with immense privilege and had the opportunity to experience the best that life has to offer. From a young age, Sheikh Amara exhibited a passion for learning and excelled academically. She pursued her higher education abroad, obtaining a degree in international relations from a UK university. This educational background equipped her with a broad understanding of global affairs and fostered her ability to engage in diplomatic and cultural exchanges. Beyond her academic achievements, Sheikh Amara has carved her own path and identity in the public eye. She is highly active on social media platforms, where she shares glimpses of her life and passions with her followers. Her social media presence has allowed her to connect with a broader audience and has given people a window into her glamorous lifestyle. Sheikh Amara's love for horses is particularly noteworthy, as she shares this passion with her father. She has been seen attending prestigious equestrian events, such as the Dubai World Cup, where she revels in the beauty and elegance of these magnificent animals. Her Instagram feed often features stunning images of her interacting with horses, highlighting the deep bond she shares with these creatures. In addition to her love for horses, Sheikh Amara embraces other cultural heritage aspects. She has been photographed with camels and falcons, which are symbolic in Emirati culture. These images demonstrate her pride in her country's traditions and showcase her desire to preserve and celebrate the rich cultural heritage of the UAE. This is unsurprising, knowing her father's strict approach toward parenting. Yes, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum is famous for his firm hand when it comes to parenting. And it's no wonder all of his children have become not only well-mannered, but relatively modest compared to other royal kids around the world. It's not a secret that the Dubai ruler has set exceptionally high standards for his family, emphasizing the importance of responsibility, discipline, and dedication to public service. This strict upbringing aims to prepare his children for their future roles within the royal family and their responsibilities as leaders and representatives of Dubai and the UAE. For example, Sheikh Amara's active involvement in social events and community initiatives further reflects her commitment to positively impacting society. She attends a wide range of events, from the opening of prestigious stores to award ceremonies honoring international and Arab personalities. Through her participation, she not only supports various industries, but also shines a light on the accomplishments and contributions of individuals in different fields. Within the royal family, Sheikh Amara holds a special place as her father's favorite. This favoritism is not uncommon in large families and can significantly impact a child's upbringing and relationship with their siblings. Though each of Sheikh Mohammed's children enjoys many freedoms, there are specific rules they must not cross. Thus, Sheikh Amara's life, though glamorous and carefree from the outside, posed some personal challenges. For example, when her older sister, Sheikha Shamsha Al Maktoum, tried to escape from the family's influence and broke free from one of the family's compounds in the UK, she was captured and has not been seen in public ever since. Rumors have it that the princess is held in the palace under strict guard. Although she can have everything she wants, she is forbidden from having social accounts, public appearances, and other privileges the rest of Sheikh Maktoum's children enjoy. This shows that there is a thin line that no one should cross when it comes to Sheikh Mohammed's rules. Fortunately for Sheikh Amara, she strictly follows her father's wishes. It's evident that she's his favorite, as she enjoys many more freedoms 
like not wearing a hijab, proudly showing her hair everywhere, and enjoying some Instagram fame. Not many of the Sheikh's children can say the same. Still, the princess can never say no to her father, even if that means marrying her cousin. The wedding day of Dubai Princess Sheikh Amara and Sheikh Mana Al Maktoum was a grand and joyous occasion that, although secret, definitely didn't lack the luxury and grandeur such an event demands. Held on May the 27th, 2023, the wedding reception took place in the Zabil Hall of the Dubai World Trade Center, a venue befitting the stature of the royal couple. With its expansive space and elegant ambiance, the Zabil Hall provided the perfect backdrop for the festivities. The venue's luxurious decor and impeccable arrangements would have contributed to creating a memorable and enchanting atmosphere. Esteemed guests, including members of the royal family, influential figures from the UAE, and international dignitaries attended the wedding reception. How this wedding remained hidden from the public eye is genuinely a surprise, but here we are, learning about it through social media pictures and through one truly heartfelt poem written by the Dubai ruler himself. Yes, the proud father of the bride announced on his social media profiles that his beloved daughter has finally married through a glorious poem he wrote himself. Moreover, the bride and groom shared some pictures on Instagram. The photographs showcased esteemed guests and members of the royal family, including his father, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and other prominent figures from the UAE. The images provided a glimpse into the celebratory atmosphere and the joyous union of the happy couple. Of course, the bride and groom were dressed to the nines. What may be a bit of a shock was the genuine Western vibe of the celebration. Yes, the Islamic betrothal ceremony took place before the celebration. But the bride and groom were dressed as if they were having a wedding in New York rather than the Middle East. Sheikh Amara's dress was nothing short of a masterpiece. It was entirely white with a gorgeous veil. Ezra Couture created this masterpiece as they dedicated 50 people to this VIP order. The dress itself was embroidered with diamonds and had some silver stitching. Though the price of the dress is kept a secret, the price would easily surpass $100,000. Still, with little information about the used materials and decorations, a more accurate assumption is impossible. What we can say for sure, though, is that the princess's entire outfit was close to half a million dollars. With diamond earrings, a necklace, and a gorgeous diamond watch. Undoubtedly, the wedding was a momentous occasion, not only for Princess Mara, but also for her father, and most importantly, for her new husband. Sheikh Mana Al Maktoum, the groom of Dubai Princess Sheikh Amara, brings his own unique background and accomplishments to the union. As a member of the UAE royal family, Sheikh Mana embodies the values and responsibilities associated with his lineage, while also carving his own path. Born to Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid bin Mana Al Maktoum and Sheikh Madia bint Ahmed bin Juma Al Maktoum, Sheikh Mana hails from a family with a rich history and deep connections within the UAE. His lineage places him among the esteemed Al Maktoum family, renowned for its contributions to the development and prosperity of Dubai and the UAE. Sheikh Mana is not only a member of the royal family, but also an accomplished entrepreneur and philanthropist. His diverse business ventures have garnered attention and acclaim, reflecting his ambition and drive. His involvement with the GCI real estate development company, MM Group of Companies, Dubai Tech, and Alborada Trading showcases his broad range of interests and investments. Unsurprisingly, Sheikh Mana is worth approximately $15 billion which is on par with the crown prince of Dubai himself. So good for you, Sheikh Amara. Good for you. You've got a nice catch. In addition to his business pursuits, Sheikh Mana has also demonstrated a commitment to public service and the betterment of society. He served a year in the UAE Armed Forces National Service, which speaks to his dedication to serving his country. 
Furthermore, he is pursuing a degree in security and risk management from the American University in the Emirates, reflecting his desire to deepen his knowledge in areas crucial to the welfare and security of the UAE. Sheikh Mana's commercial real estate holdings spread across the UAE, highlighting his involvement in the country's economic landscape. His business ventures contribute to the growth and development of various sectors, furthering the prosperity of the UAE as a whole. Beyond his professional endeavors, Sheikh Mana brings a sense of warmth and compassion to his relationships and community engagements. His philanthropic efforts have garnered praise, demonstrating his desire to make a positive impact on society. By using his resources and influence, he actively contributes to causes that address social issues and uplift disadvantaged communities. With his accomplishments, ambition and dedication, Sheikh Mana brings depth and substance to the partnership, complementing Sheikh Amara's own pursuits and aspirations. Together, Sheikh Amara and Sheikh Mana represent a union that combines their individual strengths, family legacies, and shared aspirations. Plus, the $15 billion fortune will retain in the family, so it's a win-win. But money and status are not everything. As the Sheikha and her beloved were not forced to tie the knot, but were rather happy to do that themselves. This becomes obvious from their engagement. The engagement between Sheikh Amara and Sheikh Mana was an eagerly awaited milestone in their relationship, signifying their commitment to each other and laying the foundation for their future as a married couple. While the exact duration of their courtship remains undisclosed, the couple chose to confirm their engagement through heartfelt social media posts publicly. To announce their engagement, both Sheikh Amara and Sheikh Mana took to their respective Instagram accounts, sharing their joy and excitement with their followers. These posts were accompanied by a poem written by Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Sheikh Amara's father and a renowned poet himself. The poem beautifully conveys blessings, well wishes, and the joy surrounding the signing of the marriage contract between the couple. The poem shared on social media expressed the happiness and celebration that ensued on the day of Mana, the groom. It mentioned the exchange of congratulations and blessings, painting a picture of a momentous occasion embraced by families and friends. The poem's words highlight the connection between Sheikh Mana, symbolized by the wind, and Sheikh Amara, referenced to as Mara, evoking sentiments of fondness and estrangement. The public announcement of the engagement garnered significant attention and excitement among the couple's families, friends, and well-wishers. Though it lacked some grandiose events that usually accompany royal engagements, the event still rocked the Arab world, as both Mara and Mana were highly desired bachelors among UAE royalties. And how could it be otherwise, with both of them having one truly spectacular and noteworthy lifestyle? It's good that Sheikh Mana has $15 billion in his bank account because Sheikh Amara surely knows how to spend. She alone has a net worth of approximately $300 million, which was quite enough to fuel her luxurious and over-the-top lifestyle. It's obvious that the princess was Sheikh Maktoum's favorite, as she was allowed much more freedom than her siblings. She had full access to the family's $20 billion net worth as she often used her father's gorgeous yachts as her private party clubs. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum is well known for his lavish yacht collection, where his 531-foot-long Dubai is, without a doubt, the highlight. The ultra-luxurious yacht cost the ruler around $400 million. Though the shortest of the bunch, the Quattro L has been valued at approximately 200 million, while the 10-foot longer Moonlight 2 cost the family only about 90 million. Though not entirely confirmed, the Al Maktoum family is rumored to own the $300 million Al Saud and the $500 million Serene and the $520 million Topaz. Moreover, by now, she lived in the opulent $500 million Zabil Palace in Dubai. However, she does have an expensive portfolio in Dubai alone. As the Sheikh's favorite daughter, 
she is exempt from paying the massive taxes she'd otherwise have to pay. Thus, she has more to spend on herself. She also bought a private house where she could spend her happy youth away from the family. This bachelorette pad cost her approximately $120 million. This opulent home is lavishly decorated, and one could hardly make the difference between the Zabil Palace and her own home. Well, the Zabil Palace is significantly large, but still, the fine decors, the opulent furnishing, and the top-of-the-line amenities made one truly astonishing getaway place for the Shaker. The Shaker's taste for beautiful things doesn't end with her real estate portfolio, as she's a renowned horse lover, just like her father and brother. She alone had 11 horses for herself, costing more than a million dollars in total. This still pales compared to what her brother, Prince Hamdan, spent on 16 camels. The Crown Prince paid 4.5 million for these desert creatures, as only one of them cost him 2.7 million. So it seems that Mara is barely spending anything on horses compared to the family standards. Still, horses are the least of her spending when it comes to luxury. The princess is also well known for having a thing for luxurious cars. It's a good thing Sheikh Mana has one extraordinary garage full of lavish brands. Still, Mara has a small but highly expensive collection of her own. The highlights of her $7 million collection are a pink Rolls-Royce Phantom, worth approximately $500,000, and a Grand LaFerrari for $2.1 million. The car has a sleek silver exterior, which probably doesn't fit all her purses, so she needs to have some additional colors as well in the future. Keep notes, Sheikh Mana. Moreover, Mara has been seen with a McLaren P1, which costs $1.15 million as well. Just like the LaFerrari, this car has also a silver exterior and is one of the fastest cars in the world. I wonder if she tries to mimic her brother, who has about a dozen golden cars. Well, at least the Shaker is not gone around in ultra-luxurious tanks and highly lavish amphibious cars. Well, she does have the next best thing, a Mercedes-AMG G63 worth $147,000. At least it looks like a tank. To finish off this extraordinary collection, Mara has purchased a $3.1 million Bugatti Chiron, one of the most expensive cars in the world. And is there a better way to show you are an affluent luxury lover than buying a Bugatti? I don't think so. As you can guess, cars are not the only luxurious thing a princess spends her fortune on. Just like most girls, she's an avid fashion buff and, as such, spares no expense on getting the best of the best from the fashion world. To say that the princess's wardrobe is exquisite will be an understatement. The gorgeous Dubai royalty is always dressed to the nines. And while following some strict guidelines from her father on what she can and can't wear, she still manages to enjoy freedom when it comes to buying beautiful clothes. One of her favorites is a Tiffany & Co dress that costs around $80,000. Of course, what would a dress be without an equally stunning handbag? Chanel is the brand of choice for Sheikh Amara, as she has spent more than $1 million. The highlight of her collection is a Chanel Diamond Forever Classic bag, costing $261,000 alone, not to mention her vast collection of jewelry and cosmetics. Most of them can be seen in her Instagram and TikTok profiles. Still, now that she's married to an eligible bachelor worth $15 billion, I guess her lifestyle will only become more frivolous. We can only hope that her other passion, Instagram, will keep us updated. Sheikh Amara's active presence on social media platforms provides a glimpse into her glamorous and multifaceted lifestyle. She shares moments from her daily life, including attending prestigious events, exploring Dubai's vibrant culture, and interacting with animals, such as horses, camels, and falcons. Through her social media platforms, she offers her followers a window into her world, showcasing her interests, travels, and experiences. Still, as a member of the Dubai royal family, Mara's life is not all fun and games, and along with the luxurious items and experiences, she also has some duties towards her country. 
As a prominent figure within the UAE royal family, Sheikh Amara frequently attends a range of social and cultural events. These events can include the opening of luxury stores, award ceremonies, and international festivals. Her participation not only supports various industries, but also highlights the achievements and contributions of individuals from diverse fields. By engaging in these events, she actively promotes cultural understanding, celebrates talent, and strengthens community bonds. Moreover, the princess tries to blend her lifestyle with a commitment to preserving and celebrating the cultural heritage of the UAE. She actively engages in Emirati traditions, attending events which showcase the nation's rich history, traditions, and customs. By participating in these events, she contributes to the preservation of the country's cultural identity and ensures the passing down of cherished traditions to future generations. With her new husband, she will most probably engage in some serious philanthropic work as well. Her privileged position allows her to contribute to charitable causes, making a positive impact on society. She supports initiatives that address social issues, uplifting underprivileged communities, and promote the well-being of individuals in need. Her engagement in philanthropy reflects her commitment to giving back to society and embodying the values of compassion and empathy. It seems that Sheikh Amara's life is a harmonious blend of royal responsibilities, intellectual pursuits, cultural appreciation, and a high dose of luxury. With such a profile, she can easily become just as prominent as Queen Moza of Qatar. Care to learn more about the most affluent queen in the world? Click on the video to your left.